Peter Reid may have been sacked as Plymouth manager in September, but he's still highly regarded by the fans. Reid was in charge of the League Two club for one of the most difficult times in their history when they went into administration. During the darkest days, you stuck with us, all the fans of Plymouth Argyle are indebted forever. That's very, very nice. Gratitude from the fans to a manager who was there when things were tough at Plymouth, and Peter Reid was touched. It's much appreciated by all the sport, and I've got to say, it's a fantastic club with um, really good support, so I wish him all the best. Reid settled his termination agreement with the club and hopes all can move on now but after a couple of family loose ends being tied up. There was reports that I was being difficult uh, coming to a deal, but that wasn't the case. You know, uh, these things go into legals, which I'm not great at, to be perfectly honest. But in the end, um, we all come to an agreement and it was smashing and the club can go forward. Um, they just owe me brother, uh, Sean, about uh, three months' wages, but I'm sure that'll be coming along. Uh, I think the chairman, Mr Risdale, has promised he'll do that. So. And then that's the end of it, and then just hold Plymouth, go from strength to strength. Reid says he'll miss the people and fans of Plymouth, but he won't miss the travelling. When I worked in Bangkok, it was easy to get Bangkok to get to Plymouth. So them supporters do a fantastic job, you know, supporting at home, and the away support's incredible. The Plymouth fans also gave their former boss a pen as a leaving gift. A pen. To sign my checks now that I'm getting paid. <laughs> and it appears a lasting thank friendship thank you, thank you has been forged. Who, uh, Alan Myers, Sky Sports. To that. Just two days to go in the Flat Jockeys title race. An update on the way. We'll